I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe That's just how it goes cause I like to yo what is up guys surgical goblin here and welcome to this new episode in today's video i'm going to share a balloon cycle deck but before i hop into this episode i do want to mention a few things because i've been a little bit sick recently so maybe you guys can see that that i'm look tired or maybe my voice is a little bit different also i want to mention that i want to start bringing a new series on the channel uh, one new series and maybe an old series because I used to do clan wars on the channel way back when I had like 30 or 40k subs But th those episodes were really fun in my opinion and maybe you guys would like to see that So definitely let me know if you would like to see three first three episodes uh, Clan wars for example team castle versus nova esports or something like that Also, I had the idea of doing something like surgical improves decks uh, Like where I would improve the deck of you like the subscriber right now watching you could submit it on Twitter I would probably make a tweet asking what deck do you want me to improve I might pick your deck and I would improve it in an episode and play with it in like a grand challenge or whatever so let me know if you uh, like that idea and also let me know if you have a good Siri idea like maybe you have a total different idea of those two let me know in the comments also guys uh, please like those comments like if you would read through the comments some people do that then give a like to the comment or to the Siri idea which you really like so I know what you guys want to see because of course I like doing youtube but i really want to uh like entertain my viewers i guess so let me know if you guys would like to see that of course my main focus is deck videos so i will not like uh, stop doing that at all like it will still be my main focus and i really enjoy doing deck videos so let's hop into this deck video and today i'm going to share as i said balloon cycle deck so let's go over the deck real quick it has two legendary cards the electro wizard and the miner which are in my opinion pretty key because the electro wizard is so strong versus le let's say bats uh, also versus lock bait they can get a lot of value versus like goblin gang the miner is like a mini tank which you can sneak in let's say the balloon you send in a balloon with the miner then you have to zap to retarget it onto the miner so the miner is tanking for the balloon and sometimes that can uh, be really clutch like let's say last moment zap to retarget it on the miner a balloon can deal so much damage like one uh, hit let's see actually there's level seven but one hit is like i believe 800 damage maybe a little bit less then you have the bats the ice spirit the zap some people use fireball over the ice spirit but i prefer ice spirit just because you can cycle really quick it has a really good synergy with the zap uh, also with the electro wizard let's say they have uh, minions or main horde you can go with balloon then ice spirit zap like really reactive to kill them and the mini pack has like a, a tank killer or like a hawk rider killer so it's really good for his hawk rider giant golem you barely see golem but it's of course good for his golem as well and let's let's start in with this uh, grand challenge unfortunately i'm at zero wins because i just got back for my grandparents so i don't have that much time to um to play the game and tomorrow i have to study again i have to go to school again because tomorrow is monday but let's give him the thumbs up and the good luck and with this deck it's really important to outcycle your opponent's uh counters so it looks like this guy started with the goblin barrel we had the electro wizard ice spirit there we didn't take too much damage and uh, i did miss time my electro wizard you can actually time it that you will hit all the goblins but he placed it to the side which was good for us so let's send in a miner towards his um to his princess Actually, he has Goblin Gang well played by him, protecting his princess. Uh, but we are free to drop our bets over here. And we can Electro Wizard his princess. So let's just do that right now. Uh, don't let the princess get too much hit. One hit, but that's totally fine. And I expect another Goblin Barrel. And right now we don't have um, like a really good counter. But I guess I will drop my Mini P.E.K.K.A. I will drop an Ice Spirit as well. And we will take a little bit of damage, but that's totally fine. Uh, let's see. I was sending the miner again to the princess, and right now he has to choose uh, defending the princess or defending the mini Pekka. Actually, he does both, but we can get a really nice zap, killing the princess and killing the goblin gang. And the knight almost died, like the tower will kill it. And we know that he is low paid, but he also has um, ice golem. So I, f I guess he doesn't have ice spirit. He has double tank, like double mini tank. He has the knight and the ice golem. Normally, low paid would have uh, ice spirit instead of that. But let's see. I want to try to bait out uh, his rocket or let's see if he uses Inferno. If he uses it up high, we could drop an Electro Wizard. But good placement by him. So the Inferno Tower will uh, finish stuff. But that's an equal trade. And right now we can try to outcycle his counter. 
So I will have my Ice Golem, I will have my Ice Spirit going this late, so we know that he has to place a few more cards before he is back to it. So let's drop the Electro Wizard, let's drop the Bats, and now we, we cycle back to Balloon. So this deck cycles really quick, and he shouldn't have that much Elixir to defend both lanes. Like we have Ice Golem and Electro Wizard on the other lane, and we have um, a Balloon over here. So let's actually go with a Miner, and let's zap over here. Hopefully it retargets on top of the mine i'm not sure if it's locked on the balloon but the balloon still gets one hit and that's so much damage guys i will go in with uh ice column i will go with bats also an ice spirit just to like freeze that one goblin and he uses electro or his inferno tower over there so i would just send in a miner to chip and with this deck it's basically all about chip damage it looks like he tried to protect his princess he did oh wow i should not have placed my mini pack i guess this is uh, a good mini pack because i can bait his rocket which i'm doing right now so let's actually go with Ice Golem uh, to block that one Goblin. We have Bats over there. So I guess that was a good mini pekka, but we do have to punish him right now uh, for using uh, his Rocket over there. So let's go in with a Miner. Let's go in with Ice Spirit. Let's support it with Bats. And I don't think he has enough for Rocket. Looks like he doesn't have enough. And the, inf uh, like the Inferno Tower was too late, so the Balloon got the, uh, the drop. So let's give him thumbs up. Good game. And the wall plate. So that was the first game, perfect example of like out cycling your opponent. Of course he has quite a cheap cycle as well, so he was able to always, like he has two counters, he has the rocket and the inferno tower, but we were still able to, um, to like pass his defense quite easily in my opinion. So that was a pretty good game. But let's get into the second one. So let's give him the thumbs up and the good luck and let's see what this guy is using. So with this deck, it's also about punishing. Let's say he pumps up. We could go with uh, Ice Golem Balloon and then send a Miner to his Collector. Uh, well, I was about to say, if that uh, Bandit would dash on top of the tower, that would be pretty bad. Looks like he has a P.E.K.K.A. I will go with Balloon on this side. He just spent 7 Elixir. I don't think he has too much Elixir. Let's say he has Bats. We could zap them away. Looks like he has Electro Wizard and Bats. Um, I will let that be and I will drop my own Electro Wizard on top of that. Knowing that the spawn, like the Electro Wizard spawns with a Zap. So I'll drop my mini pack and this is a good example of how strong the mini pack is because I can just drop my uh, ice column there and I know that the mini pack would actually take down the, the big pack and it will actually survive as well. So I will send in the ice spirit in front and uh, why I'm doing that is because the ice spirit will actually always make it to the tower. And in this way, the mini packer actually, like, it allowed the mini packer to hit, to get two hits on top of the tower. Because first the ice spirit was tanking for it. And then it actually froze the tower as well. So the left side tower is down to 1200 HP. Of course, we took a little bit of damage on the on our right side tower. But we're totally fine right now. And let's go in with another push. Balloon minor combination. Looks like we will go with the P.E.K.K.A. And I have my Zep ready for his bets. So the Balloon will definitely get to the tower. Even though he will drop his Electro Wizard probably. It will still take it down. I'm not sure how much the death damage does of the Balloon. I think that's enough. No, it's not enough. So we, we almost have his uh, tower down. I'll go with an Ice Golem. I'll go with an Ice Spirit as well. Just to freeze it. He does have Goblins over there. So we need to drop something else. Um, let's see if he has a Zap or anything. Otherwise we might take a little bit of damage. He actually does Zap. But let's Zap as well. Because his Zap retargeted his uh, or our tower onto his Miner. So in that way we didn't lose our tower. Let's say I didn't Zap in that situation. We would lose our tower for sure. But we're still looking pretty good. Left side tower is down to 1000 a little bit more. And uh, we took down his left side tower for sure. We can just zap it or send in a miner. And uh, right now I will try to uh, tower trade. Because of course we don't really care about the left side too much. And we want to take down his other tower. So let's go with bets. I will zap over here. I know that he is electro wizard. So that's why I send in the bets a little bit late. But it looks like he waited pretty good. And looks like the balloon will uh, probably take it out. No, that's not enough. But we just need to make sure we will not get three crowned because um, that is our main concern, I guess, right now. So let's see. He used his poison over there. I will use my electro wizard. I know that he has zap, so I will use my uh, ice spirit over there. Looks like he doesn't use it. I will send in a miner towards the right side tower, knowing that we can still zap the left side tower. He didn't predict the miner. Let's see if the bets will take it out on the left side. Looks like he d he's trying to defend that. So let's zap right now. And it should be good game. I have my Ice Golem over here. I have my Mini P.E.K.K.A. Bats, etc. I can cycle really quick. And his side, like our right side tower, was pretty... Um, a lot of HP left. So let's give him the good game. The uh, well played and the thumbs up. And that was the second game. I think I will do two more life battles in this episode. Just because it's like actually this deck. I really like playing with this deck. Just because it has such a quick cycle. In my opinion the defense is... Um, I would not say a fun defense. But I don't know why. I just really like playing with this deck. But let's see. 
um, I don't really want to start with this opening hand because like let's say he would uh, let's say I, I waste my bets well it looks like he has a witch interesting level 3 witch so under level that's unfortunate that we have to match up first this guy but let's play it out anyways like I don't want to lose of course so let's see uh, I will drop bets for the graveyard I will drop a mini pack on top of the witch the witch should die on one uh, hit and it, right here I will send in my miner uh, looks like the mini pack actually went away, so I didn't have to zap the the tower to retarget it onto the miner. And he has a lot of things to defend right now, so I will actually go with a split push. Looks like that will uh, deal a lot of damage because he spent and his uh, electro wizard and his Skarmy over there. I can drop my ice golem on the left side or on the right side. I mean, and on the left side we still have the balloon. I will zap the tower and the bats, and that will take down the tower for sure. So right now he has his Night Witch. Let's see if the tower targets on top of the Night Witch. No. So it will target the bats first. I'm fine with taking a little bit of damage, I guess. Or actually, I will drop my Electro Wizard. I just don't want to take too much damage. I wasn't sure if that would deal a lot of damage. Of course, the Night Witch is nerfed. It's giving me the thumbs up. I'm not sure why. But let's see. He will defend the Electro Wizard with a Fireball. I'm not sure why he would defend the Electro Wizard. Because the King Tower has so much HP. I wouldn't defend it if I was him. But he decided to Fireball over there. And I'll go for three crowns because he spent his uh, giant again giving the thumbs up and laughing. I don't know why he's doing that. But let's see. I will save up for my mini Pekka for the giant. Just because I don't know if he has Zep or anything. And the bets aren't like as um, reliable. Or I'm not sure how to say that. But the mini Pekka in this situation will uh, do quite a good job. Of course he has his Electro Wizard there. So the mini Pekka can't hit as fast. Uh, and it will also die. But right now I can drop my Ice Golem. Unfortunately, uh, let's see, let's see. I will drop my Electro Wizard on top of this. I, I was about to say, unfortunately, the Witch on the left side didn't uh, target on that. But it didn't really matter because it died to the tower as well. He wasted his Fireball there. I think he uh, thought that our Electro Wizard was a bit more HP. But the Electro Wizard was almost dead. And I think this good game, the Balloon will reach to the tower. I can zap as well and the death damage would kill it. But I think the Miner is enough. There you go. The Miner finished it off. So I have three crowns. So let's give him the good game. Well played. And a thumbs up. I will for sure do one more game because this one uh his unfortunate unfortunately our opponent was a bit under leveled and we're only recording for 11 minutes so either one or two more depending on how fast this match goes and let's see so let's give him the thumbs up and the good luck and again i don't really want to uh start with anything this deck is just basically about chipping away and punishing your opponent let's say he pumps up i could go with bats balloon and whatever our next card is let's say it's minor we could go with a minor to the collector but right now we don't really need to drop anything. Of course this deck is good in um, in like single elixir. But it's also good in overtime. Just because like it's a quick cycle. So you would be able to even cycle faster. So let's see. Looks like our opponent doesn't want to start off uh, with dropping anything. And I know that this could be boring to watch. So I might just drop an electro wizard. Just to make sure something will happen in this match. Otherwise you guys will be watching for minutes, uh, for minutes and nothing will happen. So let's see, he dropped his Electro Wizard and often people won't have anything uh, besides that first air. Maybe a Mega Mian or Bats, but I have my Zap ready. Um, let's see, let's see. I'll drop my Mini Pack over here. A Mini Pack has really good versus like in this situation because first it will target the Electro Wizard and then it will target the, um, the Knight. And looks like we have a counter push going. Let's see if we can Zap anything. I will Zap over here trying to get it to the tower. It looks like we did manage. I'm not sure if it would get to the tower uh, if we didn't. But let's see. I have my bets for the graveyard. I have an ice golem going, uh, trying to kite this uh, baby dragon. And so far, like I, like I'm trying to um, collect information. I'm trying to see what he has for my balloon. So right now he showed his baby dragon. He showed his tornado, and he showed his electro wizard, which tells me that he has. Um, which tells me that he has a uh, splash yard, I mean. Maybe with bowler, maybe with executioner. But it looks like he will go with his electro wizard. So right now I could go with my own electro wizard. First stunning it and then it will actually retarget on top of it. He has, he does have the tornado, so really good counter by him. I think we will get, uh, he will take one, um, yeah there you go. One electro wizard hit on the tower. But we're still leading with damage, which is good for us. And knowing that he has poison, um, I do want to drop my bets. But that would be over commitment for him. So right now he overcommitted. So I'm just waiting for the skeletons to stack up. And then I want to go with a push. So of course he's dealing a lot of damage. But right now I know that he spent a lot of elixir. So I can go with an ice golem to tank. Then I can go with um, with my balloon and a miner as well. 
But unfortunately, has so much uh, like air units. I guess we can try to um, let's see, take them out with the electro wizard and the ice spirit. But let's see, let's see. This is a hard like matchup, I guess. But let's try to keep the pressure. Let's try to go with another balloon. If he goes with graveyard, we have um, bets for that. Looks like he doesn't. I will zap over here. Maybe I should have zapped uh, on the king on the tower to so the balloon can actually reach uh, like reach the tower. But it looks like this will be a good game because no way we can defend this. Maybe we can, but I don't think so. Let's go with Electro Wizard hopefully in time. Looks like he has the poison as well, and I think this will be a good game. So unfortunately, uh, Tornado is really good first balloon, so definitely good game. Well played and a thumbs up and I will do one more life battle. Interesting that we face Splash Yard. Like I actually never see Splash Yard being used. Um, his last card was the bowler, but I never see splash out being used and right now we're using a balloon psycho deck and our face first splash out That's unfortunate, but uh, that's just how it is. I guess like the matchmaking um, I'm not sure what I could have done different maybe more pressure like when he when I knew he would poison I still drop my bets on top of it. Maybe I should have rushed the other lane I just sent in a, a naked balloon, but of course like he has the tornado and the tornado allows him to defend uh, quite easily. Let's swap the mini P.E.K.K.A for his goblins. Uh, the mini P.E.K.K.A will turn around, walk to the miner and kill it in one hit. So let's go with uh, bets over here. Let's support the mini P.E.K.K.A with a balloon. So he has two, like he has a, a ground unit and an air unit to defend. And wow, this guy has minions. That's really, really unfortunate for us because minions can't be zapped away. So we need to save our ice spirit for... Um, we need to save our Ice Spirit and Zep for his minions because we know that he, he has that as a counter. So I dropped my Ice Spirit on his Electro Wizard. His Electro Wizard unfortunately killed our Electro Wizard with the help of his Miner. So we're taking a lot of damage. And uh, this is an unfortunate matchup as well because he has Electro Wizard and minions. But we still should be able to like come through his defense if we save the right cards. Like now we know we um, collected the information, I guess. I'm not sure how to say that. We got the information and now we know what's coming. So he uses Bandit. I can go in with Mini Pack into the same lane. I could use my Ice Golem to block his uh, Bandit dash, depending on what he supports it with. But it looks like he uses Minions. So I'll drop my Ice Golem over here to um, end tank for the Bandit dash, but also tank for, or also, yeah, also take the, the Minion damage. And let's see, I will go with a Balloon and I will go with Miner over here. And I'll have my bets ready for his Pekka because I know he spent 7 Elixir. He needs to defend that push, so he won't have that much Elixir to zap. Looks like he did zap over there, but I think the balloon might be able to reach the tower. Let's go with, um, well, this is well played by him. I will zap over here, trying to kill the goblins and his electro wizard as soon as possible. We did take down the left side tower really low, and hopefully the Pekka will die. I think it will take down the tower. Let's see, let's see. Oh, wow, we lose the tower. That's unfortunate. I expected to, or I, I thought we could defend that. But let's see, let's try to defend first and then try to take down the tower and go for the right side tower. I know that he has minions, but again, he spends it. Interesting decision by him. I will go with an Ice Golem over here. I will go um, with Ice Spirit. I will zap over here as well. And we should be able to finish that off quite easy. So we have a counter push going. Let's see if I need to uh, send in a Miner to take down the tower or we take it out before. Looks like we don't take it out. So I might just send in a Miner right now to the tower to take it out. Let's say he's, uh, he's trying to defend that. We could zap it as well. Looks like he did try to defend it, but the minions will not like uh, block the Miner. So let's pressure right now. Let's go with a zap over here. Let's uh, ice spirit as well. Uh, I need to defend the um, I need to defend the bandit. We can take the miner, I guess. He drops goblins, but the goblins won't hit a uh, balloon, so it might get one hit. There you go, one hit for the balloon. And we need to pressure right now, guys. Let's go with the ice golem. Let's go with miner. Uh, let's go with ice spirit. But I think he will have his minions. Let's see. I will zap over here just to. Uh, I know that he would have to drop his minions, and there you go. We did hit the minions, but that also allowed the balloon to get a hit. And I think that's good game. 10 seconds left. I know that he has bandit, so I don't want to uh, let the bandit hit. Uh, rather defend the bandit than get like the miner. Miner only does 64 damage with one hit. And there you go. Good game. Well played. And a thumbs up. And that was the episode, guys. 18 minutes long, so a little bit of a longer one. Also, don't forget to uh, let me know what you think about the Siri idea, what I told you guys in the beginning. Also, let me know if you have any Siri idea. If you enjoyed this episode, please smack that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys.